and welcome to Preschool Genius. In this video, we will learn about one of the most fantastic looking creatures in the world, zebra. Yes! Are you ready? Let's start with some cool facts about zebras. Did you know there are three different kinds of zebra, including the plain zebra, the greedy zebra, and the mountain zebra? All three species are indigenous to Africa. The plain zebra, which inhabits the grasslands and woodlands of eastern and southern Africa, is the most common species. The greedy zebra may be found in Kenya and Ethiopia's arid, semi-desert regions. The mountain zebra can be found in Namibia, Angola, and South Africa's mountainous and hilly areas. Zebra, who are closely related to horses, have long necks and heads with short mane, narrow legs, tufted tails, and heavy bodies. And can you guess what their most notable feature is? Of course, their gorgeous coat with white and black stripes. So why do zebras have stripes? Well, scientists aren't entirely sure. Perhaps their stripes are used to frighten and mislead predators and biting insects or to regulate body temperature. Additionally, their stripes may have a social function by allowing zebras to recognize one another. Each zebra has its own unique pattern of distinctive stripes, and no two zebras ever have the same two stripes, just like our fingerprints. These fascinating animals are herbivores and spend most of the day eating grass and occasionally leaves, bushes, twigs, and bark. With sharp incisors in the front of their mouths for biting the grass and big molars at the back for crushing and grinding, their teeth are ideally suited for grazing. Zebras also continually search for new grass to eat and fresh water to drink. They'll travel thousands of kilometers in search of green pastures where they can fill their bellies and quench their thirst. Amazing! Did they ever get tired? Another interesting fact is that zebras can run seriously fast. In fact, they can run up to 65 miles per hour. They can even outrun a lion. Can you believe it? Zebras are very swift because they need to run from some of the most dangerous predators in the world, including lions and cheetah. As social animals, zebras tend to stick together in smaller family groupings within a herd. Families generally consist of a male, several females, and young zebras. Zebra herds can grow to be thousands of animals when they migrate to find new feeding grounds. On their journeys, they could cooperate with other grazers like antelope and wildebeest. Their strong social bonds also help to protect zebras from predators. But don't be fooled by their elegant and peaceful appearance. Zebras can be aggressive animals too. They may kill other creatures and inflict significant injury with their powerful kicks and piercing bites, which they utilize to battle with ferocity. When under threat, these fantastic animals form a semicircle facing the attacker and prepare to strike if necessary. And if one in the group is hurt or injured, the other zebras will circle around and try to drive off the predator. All for one and one for all. Another funny thing is zebras groom one another. Don't worry if two zebras appear to be biting each other when they are standing near one another, because actually they're pulling loose hairs off each other as they groom. A zebra enjoys being groomed because it feels wonderful to have an itch wiped. As a whole, zebras are not endangered. Since the natural habitat for zebras has mainly been preserved and they are not universally a primary target of poaching, these creatures have been able to maintain a sizable population. But we still need to be cautious because habitat loss and agricultural practices can threaten zebras' population. 
That's it. I hope you enjoyed learning about Zebras with me today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.